welcome to the fourth basic Sitavi webinar. This webinar we will look at reading uh, with Sitavi. You can do some reading organization notes taking in Sitavi itself. Yeah, and then after you've done that, um, you can use all the things that you have done with Citavi when you were reading to import it into your Microsoft Word. So this particular webinar, we're going to look at how to use the preview. Um, there are some reading highlights features. You can highlight them and tell Citavi um, if this highlight should be in direct quotations or should it be a comment or a summary. You can make comments and editing and then you can also add keywords and assign the reading parts that you've highlighted into the category that we've made um, in the previous webinar, webinar number three. So let's um, get on with it. So you open your Citavi project. This is the one you are familiar with. I've, you, I've created this since um, webinar number one. Now, as you can see here, this is the preview. You can close these panels using these little um, buttons. But sometimes you say, well, I actually want to close the middle panel because I want, you can also move it like this, move it around. Another way to move the panels, you can also use the view and you can see um, these options here, hide left panel, show middle panel, hide right panel, okay? So, because I want a bigger, section in my preview panel so I'm gonna just uh, close the middle one and then I can read now the preview only exists if you have a file related to your list so you can, you can see there's a paperclip logo and that means um, that's with a file attached. Now with Mac Halliday, there's nothing. So it will ask you to add a local file or if you can find an internet address to find that material. Okay, and if you can find an internet uh, address to read this material, then you can also um, highlight all this stuff via Citavi Picker and then organize your work in such a way. But today we're gonna, uh, not today, but with this webinar, we are going to look at um, previews straight from your file that you have uploaded and how to organize using these panels up here. There are not a lot of pan uh, buttons on the top tabs right now, but once you highlight a piece of work, then more material will come up. So, um, for example, imagine you're reading and you say, oh, um, I really like um, this bit here. Okay, so I'm going to highlight it and you notice there are more tabs. It will pop up once you have this part that's been highlighted. Then you can decide whether you want this as direct quote indirect quote you want to summarize it you want to make a comment so imagine you want to summarize it and you can say oh okay i'm going to summarize it then you click on summary and the window will pop up it's called i call it editing window and because while you're reading you don't want to really summarize everything first but you know you're going to summarize it so that's why you put this logo. You can change it later. You can see, you can change them. You can say, no, I don't want it to be a summary. You want it to be a comment. But for now, you say, I want it to be a summary. Usually the first few words um, in this um, part that you've highlighted will appear in the core statement. And then later on, you can work 
yeah, on the statement and summarizing it. You can rework, you know, um, what you want to say. You can summarize your work here later in the text. Okay. What I want to point out now, once you have done this, don't go straight to click OK. You can also, especially when you know that you have lots um, of uh, reading material, you might want to add some keywords. Now, you can use keywords, um, your own keyword. Or you can add your own keyword by, okay, I'm going to just put the author's name so I can find it very easy. Um, this is a little bit about um, hedging. Okay, I'm going to do hedging. You can add your own because once you have these keywords, later on when you want to find a particular reading of Crompton, whatever you have programmed, Citavi to say, this is more on hedging all the hedging parts that you've highlighted will pop up all at once and you don't have to go search for it. You know, and if you have like 20 reading materials, you don't need to go through every 20 to find the hedging highlighted stuff that you want to use in your writing. It's already there. So let's just practice this, okay? So hedging, teaching, maybe I would also use academic writing. Now, we have created the categories in the third webinar, I believe. So you can also tell Sutavi, well, I would like this particular part to go under theories, for example. It's just an example. It might not be matching, but I'm just showing you an example. Um, maybe, maybe I might talk a little bit in my... Uh, well, I do want a Crompton here, so you can even add. Now, so okay, I don't want to add it here. Let's um, move it later. But I'm gonna say Crompton, Crompton, okay. And I want the Crompton to move down to Highland. Let's move down to Highland. All right sub sub category there so I want to highlight there so you can even add categories or delete categories in the um, editing part of the category here okay so when you think you're pleased okay I'm gonna have it in theories and introduction okay I'm quite happy okay and there you go the categories it will tell you these are the categories you saved it then you say all right I'm pretty pleased Okay, then you keep reading and reading and reading and reading and reading. And oh, um, I want to um, sort of maybe part of these, I might want to use it as direct quote. So I highlight it as direct quote. And then in the text, these are the full direct quote. Now, because it's a direct quote, direct quote means 100% copy. So usually it's already the text will be filled for you. You can highlight the whole text, put the appropriate, now that's the upper lower double quotation marks and in English we don't use this one, we use this one, the upper quotation marks. Okay, and I might delete the full stop because after the full stop, after the quotation there should be in-text citation. So this will be added by Citavi later. But I might edit it in such a way. Now I have sort of deleted this, so I'm going to put a a sign to say I have deleted some materials here. Because if I look at the original, I've deleted the however. So now I'm going to put again keywords. Now if you want to repeat keywords like this one, okay, I'm going to do use the same one. So if I want to keep it the same, I ah, I think I need to have it in um, semicolons, not comma. All right, there you go. And now I'm going to put it in again, Crompton, maybe suggestions and limitations, uh, maybe theories. I don't know. I'm I'm still reading. I'm not sure. I can edit it later. 
Okay, all right. Now let's me let me try the other one, another reading by Highland. I'm gonna read and read and read and read. Oh, um, I like this part. I'm gonna summarize it. So summary. I'm not gonna summarize it now because um, I'm still reading Highland. Um, maybe I want hedging academic writing now whatever keyword that you have done it's being memorized by Sitawi so once you are you know um, typing the same existing keyword a window will pop up to let you choose writing okay something like that and then I'm gonna Put it in the category Highland Literature Review. Maybe some of the suggestions under the conclusion. Oh, okay, I can't decide right now, but I might have them in this category. And if I want new categories, yeah, then you can add new categories, new subcategory, and then add them. Isn't that cool? So let's try another one. Um, keep reading and reading and reading and reading and reading and reading. And say, oh, this part. I like this part. Okay, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to paraphrase it. I'm not going to use everything. So the first few words uh, will be highlighted in the core statement. And then later you can work on the paraphrasing. You know? you, I am paraphrasing this work now. I'm just doing something silly. Um, you can then paraphrase in the text, add the keyword. Um, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Highland, writing, um, academic writing. Okay, and then I will put them in Highland category, literature review and introduction can be changed later you can change it later and I say okay I don't think it's gonna be an introduction you can't you just change it all right so so I have about four and you're done reading and now you want to work on whatever you have highlighted so you can open up the middle category you don't really need this panel anymore and you go straight to Hedging, click on the knowledge button and you can see da, 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 all the things. Now here it says all, you have four and all the things that you've highlighted has been listed out all right here in the middle panel. And if you say, well, I want to only look at the literature review and then it will show you only literature review under the category or you want to only look at Highland's work or Crompton's work or um, you want to work on suggestion and limitation. Whatever that it, you like, it's already there. So like I said, if you have 20 readings, you don't have to go and search for the 20 readings that you know you want to work on. You can just click on the category where you have program, Citavi to put whatever you have highlighted in that category, you can work on it. So how do you work on it? So imagine I want to work on Highland's work and I have categorized this as summary, so I need to summarize. You can summarize it by opening the editing pan, uh, window again with this arrow. You can see right away the arrows there and you can say, oh, but Elizabeth, this is just only a few words. Where's the summarized part? I cannot find it to summarize. I need the whole part. So you can click once on that link. And what happened? It goes straight to the parts where you have highlighted to summarize. You see? So now, again, you can open the editing window like this. You can have the summarize part there and then you can start to summarize by looking at what you have highlighted. Blah, blah, blah. What? A cool software is this is etc 
something like that. You summarized it and you say, oh yeah, okay, I'm done, I'm happy now. Now, you don't have to delete this part because this is just a preview. So when you import this work that you want into your Microsoft Word, it will only import the summarized part. It will not import the core statement because that's not the part you want. You want the one that you've worked with. Okay? And when you're happy, you close it. And when you're not so happy, you go back. Otherwise, you're done. And you say, now I want to work on Crompton's work. You can say, oh, this is a direct quote. So maybe I don't need to edit anymore. I'm quite happy, so I don't need to rework. What about if I want to paraphrase? That looks like a paraphrase work. I'm paraphrase this work now. I'm not so happy with what I've just paraphrased because when I was reading, I wasn't thinking. So you click on this link. You can see this is a chain logo. Click on it. It will bring straight bring you straight to the part where you've highlighted and you have told yourself you're going to paraphrase. And then you open the window where you can it even says um there's a thing it says open to a window to edit something like that. And then here you say I'm not so happy with this, so I'm working on the paraphrase work again so once you are quite happy and say well i don't really want it under literature review so i'm gonna unclick literature review it's still under highland but not literature review yeah. okay that's good oh i want a new keyword um then you add more mm, english English, for example. All right, I'm happy now. Good, I've worked. So this is how you can read your work and organize and work on your bits, you know, because sometimes when you're reading, you just want to read and then you highlight. And, you know, with a physical piece of paper, sometimes you highlight, but then you have forgotten what you've highlighted, you know, and then you didn't put it in a proper category. So two days or two weeks later, you go back to all your notes and say, wow, what am I talking about? Why is this like this? Why did I highlight this? Do I want it to, to be a direct quote or do I want to, you know, summarize it a little more? With Sitavi, then you can read the uh, your, your reading in here or you can read it in the website, yeah, and, and then do all this right away. And in the next um, webinar, I will show you how to import all these things that you've done um, into your Microsoft Word. Yeah. So let me show you um, a finished category. I have a sample here. And you can see I have six different files. And you can look, I have done a lot of reading and as I was reading I was you know I kind of know what I want in my paper so I categorized it and I've added all these things now I have 25 things I don't have to look through my six reading to look for the 25 things I've highlighted I can just go straight here and say wow looks like I got some work to do Go to the link, it links to one of the reading, it even tells you it's in, under this reading, that's where I highlight it. I think I should rework this, you know, open the editing window and you edit. Great, isn't it? Helps your reading really well, helps you to organize really well. All right, so that's the end of Basic Citavi webinar number four. Um, in the next webinar, we will uh, look into how to import all the works that you've done um, with Citavi into your Microsoft Word. Okay, bye-bye.